Hello, this is Matthew Robert Bain, and this is just a short uh, message. Uh, I'm going to call this Prophets Haven't Got an On Button. You may uh, have quite an understanding of prophets. You may not have much of an understanding of prophets. But I, I think... The average person thinks that a prophet is always in touch with God, like they've got an on button, like you can ask a prophet a question and get an answer direct off God. They, they don't understand, they don't seem to understand that prophets need to be in the anointing to flow and get an answer off God. They, a prophet has to make contact with God uh, for God to be speaking to him. Um, uh, and I think this leads to so many people approaching me as a prophet with questions for God. Um, they, they, they assume because you're a prophet that they can just write to you and ask you a question. And... Um, they don't realize that sometimes it takes prayer, sometimes it takes preparation. But when you're just relaxing, when you're surfing Facebook or you're looking at your messages on YouTube, you're not always in the anointing. You're not always anointed to be speaking on behalf of God. Um, I bring this up because I had a person listen to one of my videos and uh, she uh, asked the question whether she was called to be a prophet. And I said, you could be called. And she wrote back, she said, well, am I called? And I said, I haven't got an on off button. Sometimes I like to relax. I've got a book called 22 Signs that you may be called to be a prophet. Read that book and work it out for yourself. Um, and that seemed uh, fairly rude, but um, I can sort of understand Jesus uh, in some respects that he was mobbed by people. People, all sorts of people with a need came to him and he must have had a wonderful personality to be able to handle all those requests. We know one time he was going to heal a guy's daughter and he was on the way to the synagogue's uh, leader's uh, house and the daughter was sick and the woman with the issue of blood touched him and stopped him. Um, here he was already on the way to fixing some person's need and someone else interrupted him. People were desperate, and I understand, understand people are desperate, and uh, they hear of a person who's a prophet, and they've got access uh, to a prophet, and their, their desperation wants an answer. But I can tell you that it's a decision. It has to be a decision by prophet to contact God. Um, I, I can't just make that up. Like me telling a woman that she's called to be a prophet is a big call. It's a, it's a big thing to say to a person. There's a lot of pain and trauma and, and hassle uh, becoming a prophet. And uh, I, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. <laughs> and... Uh, me, me saying that she's called to be a prophet without being sure is, uh, is dangerous. And I just wasn't in the mood. I was relaxing. I wasn't in the mood to go to God and ask God. Um, and uh, I, I just hope that this encourages you uh, to be wary about coming across a prophet or coming across someone in ministry and always drawing on them, always pulling on their gift, always 
approaching them for help. Uh, sometimes a prophet just likes to have a normal life, just have peace and 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 safety and and relaxation. They don't always want to be questioned and ask for help. So um, I pray that that was encouraging to you. And if you're called to be a prophet, uh, I hope that you realize that it's true for most of us prophets. Uh, it happens the same for all of us. And uh, if you're feeling weird uh, for not being in the mood to help a person, don't feel, feel weird about it. It's a natural reaction. God bless. <laughs>